So I live in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Uh, I've been there for 10 years. And uh, one of the things that I realized when I went back home was really the conversation about, you know, what kind of work photographers were doing in the country. So I formed Desta for Africa in 2010. Um, and the key thing for us is how do we develop capacity for uh, emerging photographers? So we function as a company that's uh, actually using visual communication for a change. So through these kind of activities, it's also trying to increase the visibility of photographers uh, that are not only in Ethiopia, but also across Africa into the international market. I would encourage the World Press to have to continue this path of a diverse uh, jury membership uh, because I think it is important. Uh, because, for example, from my end, I've seen pretty much every image possible that comes out of Ethiopia. And I think for future jury membership, you know, there has to be, more, you know, the diversity has to continue because a lot of us, we don't know each other. And this is really the first time that we're meeting. But one thing I've noticed is that through the jury membership is that there's a disconnect where, you know, they're not aware of those photographers that work in the continent, you know, or, you know, in different regions and what have you. And especially for editors and, you know, people working in a newspaper, I think this is a crucial point that when we have this meeting ground, we can actually have conversations. And this also helps, you know, for the photographers in Africa and also those to see a different side of the, the continent. When we're judging and coming from this background of, you know, fine art and journalism, uh, what I look for in every image is, you know, does it provoke me, you know, does it teach me something, you know, and at the end of the day, regardless of in whichever form that you're, you're choosing to uh, make your self-expression, you know, your audience has to be able to read something into it, uh, that you are offering some kind of message within that. So from my end, you know, in the judging process, you know, I, I do place value on something that might be conceptual and not necessarily journalistic, but I feel that it's all valid. It's just, uh, you know, based on the style of the photographer. Having a variety of uh, jury members adds value to being able to also learn from each other. And that's all it's been, you know, to me, it's, uh, you know, the input of the other jury members, it adds value to my knowledge and then also what I'm sharing there and being able to show, you know, being from Africa, being black, you know, all these different layers has an input also to the jury process. The, the key thing for me is that, you know, uh, within the role of World Press for Africa, now this is gonna be the biggest challenge is how do we get more journalists from the continent to be able to submit into the world press and to also be aware of uh, the world press. This has been really a, a great experience. Uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, I've seen a lot of images and uh, I go back to Ethiopia sort of with the uh, fire in my belly that I, I've realized, you know, I have to do more work in order to support uh, journalists in order to be able to tell their stories. I'm really curious about the next edition, you know, how we can increase the number and to try to get more photographers to submit uh, because, you know, there's a lot of stories that we haven't seen. We're in a global world now and, you know, we need a global perspective as well through all these stories that we've seen.